What's up guys, Big Clive 34 coming to you today with an early video. Now this information is hot off the presses, so I kind of wanted to make a video and get it up right away. We're talking about Linkin Park. Yes, the alternative rock band. What does it have to do with a car channel? I'll tell you all about it in one second and kind of give you my opinion on why this is such a strange bit of news. First, I would appreciate it very much if you smack the like button, only if you enjoy this video though. If you hate this video for some reason, whether it be my ugly mug or whatever, the fact that I didn't take the time to put on my Big Clyde 34 shirt before wearing this, leave a comment below. Let me know all about it. And I also want to hear your opinion on this story because it's pretty interesting. Let's just talk a little bit about why this is even a story. As a gearhead, I think that I could speak for most, if not all of us, when I say that we absolutely love combustion engines. When you fire it up and get that grumble and lay into the throttle and it screams, it's just so exciting to be behind the wheel of something that you, you know, it's, it's raw, it's a machine, and you feel like you're in control of it. According to BP's statistical review of World Energy in 2014, they said we have about 55 years left of oil. So at this point, it's going on 51 years left of oil. And it's not gonna last forever. We're not always going to be able to have internal combustion engines unless we figure out some kind of alternative fuel source for them. So therefore, in recent years, Gaining lots of popularity have been hybrids, and hybrids I feel like kind of came and went really quick. I know they exist still, but I feel like electric vehicles are kind of just taking that whole market like right out from under them. It might not be until I'm an old man farting out dust, but at some point in time, I feel like we're gonna have to change from combustion to electric as much as that sucks. What does any of that have to do with Lincoln Park? I was reading an article today over on The Drive. They were saying that Mercedes is partnering with Lincoln Park to produce engine sounds. I feel like this is really as lame as it sounds. So basically their argument behind this thing is electric cars are quiet, even cars that aren't electric, combustion engine cars are quiet because of sound deadening and, and, and mufflers that have been improved out the wazoo. And I'm sure that, you know, getting stricter and stricter with environmental standards has forced these guys to kind of make a product that ends up being quieter anyways. So they decided that they're gonna bring in Lincoln Park to essentially sound engineer whatever's coming out of the exhaust. I was gonna say sound engineer sounds. That sounds really intelligent. Good going, Clive. Sound engineer whatever is coming out from underneath of one of these cars, I guess to make it sound like whatever kind of car you want it to. You're probably gonna laugh at me, but when I first heard this story, I kind of pictured putting your foot on the accelerator and having like a modulating up and down version of one of Chester Bennington's famous screams, like lay into the throttle and it gets more intense and then take out and it goes, ah, ah, ah. I think that'd be pretty crazy, but I'm, I'm just, I'm stupid, so. Mercedes and Lincoln Park have a long history. I didn't even realize that until I started looking into this thing, doing all kinds of advertising and cross promotion together, and Lincoln Park performed in the Mercedes-Benz Dome when it opened or something like that. So it's a natural kind of mesh, and since these guys really know what they're talking about when it comes to sound, not necessarily car sounds, but I'm sure engineering car sounds would probably be a little bit simpler than mixing all the tracks and engineering vo vocals and stuff like that that they do. So they're going to be making sounds for electric vehicles. AMG is like wanting Linkin Park to add emotion to the sounds because I'm sure that they could just come up with some kind of sound engineer that isn't Linkin Park and have an effective job done. I really do like Linkin Park, but I feel like this is more of a advertising, like let's incorporate Linkin Park in the way that our electric cars sound. So that way we'll be able to get more press. And here I am feeding into it. But I feel like that's more of the gist of this than uh, you know, actually bringing them in for, I'm not saying they're not good, but you know, actually bringing them in for a purpose, you know, I'm sure their time is very expensive being that they're one of the biggest bands in the entire world. Uh, so it's probably like a win-win for all of them. The last thing that I have to add to this is I feel like this could go in one of two ways. This could be the beginning of like something that catches on and gets really popular, which would probably make 
me look dumb at the end because I think it's kind of a publicity stunt and it's the other direction of people will kind of look back on this as one of those odd moments in history like why were they even trying to do that personally I just think it's kind of insulting to add a combustion engine sound to an electric car it might be a kind of neat novelty for five minutes, but personally, if things went all electric eventually, I probably would mess with it for like a week and then get annoyed by it. So what is this? Leave your comment below. What do you think of this idea? Do you think that they should have Chester Bennington's vocals coming from underneath of a car when you hit the accelerator? <laughs> I do, and if you agree, press that like button. Comment below what you think of all this. Do you think it'll work out? Do you think it's just some publicity stunt? Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Sorry about the early upload. We should be back to schedule tomorrow, and this has been Clive. I will catch you next time. Later, guys.